I wanted to go back to some of the ABCs as far as using social media, because even though we're talking about the mobile space, the reality is that these rules still apply to using smartphones and these different tools out there. Now, the first rule of social media that I've been trying to hit home for many years now is this idea of authenticity. So being transparent, being yourself, being accessible in the social space. That becomes very important for any brand or organization out there. Perhaps there is no better example of this than a company called Blendtec. When I was writing my book a couple of years ago, I had a chance to interview the marketing director of Blendtec and talk to him about one of their most successful campaigns. And he told me this wonderful story about how within two weeks of his coming, him coming on the job, he was walking across the showroom floor and he saw the founder of Blendtec literally taking a two by four a giant piece of wood, and shoving it in a blender. And this is the way that they tested their products. Now, for him, a light bulb went off. He saw an amazing opportunity to shoot some of these videos, take a few hundred dollars, buy some video equipment, and throw these videos online. Now, aside from this video series being very humorous, the thing that impresses me the most about it is how successful it was. Not just from a successful stand of view of people, or point of view from people sharing the video, but instead the return on investment, the money they spent on these videos, and the return that they had in their business. Within six months of these videos going online, there was a 500% increase in sales at Blendtec, a 500% increase in sales. That's very significant. During the early days of social media, when we talked about your return on investment, the reality was many people had a difficult time actually figuring out how to measure that. Now, what's so significant about this is the reality is I can walk down the street. I live in Leslieville in Toronto. I can go to my local Canadian Tire, and I can buy a blender for what, $39.95, $49.95? But a Blendtec blender costs about $500. So what they did through these videos is, first of all, they are very authentic in the way that they put the head of the company out there to the public, but they also shifted people's minds and got them to buy into this idea that these blenders really truly were the $500 that people would dish out for them. So an amazing story of success. The next rule is bravery. Doing something to stand out from the crowd when you're engaging in social media, whether it's on the internet, whether it's on mobile, it's important to do something to be bold, to be brave. There are so much content out there on a regular basis that people truly are getting overwhelmed with how much they're sifting through when you want to do something to stand out from the crowd. Here's a great example of a story from a couple of years ago, a guy named Dave Carroll from a band called Sons of Maxwell on the east coast of Canada. And he did something with $100 that, well, let's just say that pretty much everybody around the world who was on the internet at the time definitely saw. He had an experience with United Airlines where he was flying through Chicago. He landed in Chicago on the tarmac and he looked out the window and he saw the baggage handlers literally taking his guitar, his $3,000 Taylor guitar, and chucking his guitar. And his heart just sank. He tried to get in touch with United for weeks. It turned into months. They did nothing. They did nothing for weeks more, and he decided to do the only thing that he knew how to do, which was to get together with some friends and produce a video. Well, for a couple of years after this video went viral, we talked a lot about the damage it did to United's brand, but we really didn't have any numbers associated with that. Well, last year, the, case, uh, the BBC did a case study proving that the airline share price dropped 10%. Uh, because of these videos and cost United Airlines about $180 million. $180 million because they made a mistake, one mistake with one guy in the social arena. So it just goes to show you how important it is to have a social media strategy in place and again to do something bold and brave to stand out. The next rule I want to talk about is consistency. So engaging on a consistent basis. I like to equate this to going to the gym. We only know if we only go to the gym once a month. We're not going to see the results that we want to see, and the same thing applies in the social media space. There's probably no better example of a company that has been consistent with their efforts in social than Old Spice and their Old Spice campaign. Now, they had one hit on their hands a couple of years ago, and they kept using the same guy, the Old Spice guy, over and over and over again in all of their efforts. In fact, you might have seen it last year when they actually got the Old Spice guy to go onto Twitter and to answer questions from people on Twitter in video format. Again, when we talk about social and we talk about your return on investment, some great stats here, 110 million views for all of these videos and 107% increase in sales during the month of these videos. The reason I'm sharing these numbers again is when we're talking about social, I think the great thing today is that you're able to measure so much and really prove that there is that return on investment. Now some people, and I wrote about this in my book as well, talk about return on engagement. So it's not all about numbers and quantity and, uh, and, and making money off of your social media efforts. It's also about building that community and bringing those people together. 